I just increased one of my clients' conversion rates on their app funnel by 5%, meaning 5% more people are purchasing their product after they download their app. What you see here on my screen is their onboarding uh, funnel report here in Mixpanel. Um, I've been using Mixpanel for about five to six years now. I use it extensively at Price Picks, and it was part of my day-to-day -day workflow when I was helping Price Picks grow from just an idea uh, with a few hundred users to three million users in the number one app in the App Store. Primarily, my job was to go into Mixpanel, analyze the reports every single day, and then develop features and uh, strategies to bring these numbers as high as possible. Um, and we were the leader in unit economics. We were the leader in uh, getting users into our app and getting them to play our game. So I'm really, really good at this. This is what I'm known for. Um, and what I just did for this client um, that I've been consulting for is I just increased their conversion rates from just 14% all the way up to 21%. I won't talk about who the client is, but I did something specifically on um, on the 14th of November. And from that day on, you can see that conversion rates have just completely rocketed. Uh, and now the client is is converting over 20% of paid, uh, of, excuse me, of, of signups into paying customers. Um, I did this using a strategy called re-engagement. And re-engagement is um, the idea of, um, retargeting your users using push notifications and, and emails to get them to come back to your app. And this is a fantastic way to get people who drop off to come back to your app. A lot of times people don't really realize the behavior of the human who's using the app when um, they're thinking about you know how to improve their app conversion rates. Like you need to think that many times when people download apps or they're on their phone, they could be on the subway if they're in New York, they could be uh, at Starbucks, they could be you know, in the hot tub at the gym, they could be chilling with their kids, waiting for them to come out of school. They could be honestly just hanging out um, anywhere. And so phones, since they're so portable, we oftentimes have to, um, we oftentimes are using them in spurts. And so when you think about how your user is interacting with your app, sometimes they're still interested in what you have to offer and you just need to get them to come back in their next spurt that they use their phone. And so this is where the money is really made in apps because the apps or the developers who can, you know, keep their users coming back, send them push notifications, send them emails, you know, and consistently stay in their face. Those are the apps that are going to do well. If you just launch an app and you never, you know, talk to your users via email or push notifications and you just rely on them to download the app and then just use it at their own will, like they're just not going to do that. That's not how apps work. Um, you need, and, and that's not how sales works. Sales is a relationship game. And at the end of the day, you as a developer have to embody the mindset of a salesperson. Um, salespeople are really good at, you know, staying in, in contact with the lead, with the customer that they want to sell into. And so re-engagement is the aspect of, or excuse me, the concept of sending push notifications to handle objections, you know, to get people excited, to get them to tap on, on that push notification and come back to the app. Or if they're skeptical about what your app has to offer and how it's, you know, uh, very similar to other apps out there, you like you might need to send them like longer form email content to get them to really see what your app is about. So um, that's pretty much how I did it. I did it through re-engagement. And let me show you exactly how. So if I can figure out how to um, drop this down here. Yep. So I use a um, software called, you know, Braze. Braze is an enterprise grade uh, re-engagement software. It's super expensive. A very small number of you watching this video are going to be able to afford Braze. If you have hundreds of daily active users, thousands of daily active users, then you have a case for Braze. Um, and I'm an expert in Braze. If, if you if you look up, you know, Price Picks Braze case study, you'll see that um, I led this 60% conversion rate case study uh, with Braze at Price Picks. I have a quote here somewhere. Um, yeah, right here. Um, and so I'm really, really good at Braze. Um, it's an expensive tool. And unless you have, you know, some funding and you are ready to really invest and you are, you're, you're bullish on your app, you have hundreds of thousands of, of uh, not hundreds of thousands, maybe like hundreds or thousands of users using your app weekly, um, then you have a case for it. But what I essentially did here in Braze is I, um, I set up re-engagement campaigns that essentially like sends emails and push notifications to the user if they don't complete the um, purchase. So if they go through this onboarding funnel, right? Um, if they go through this onboarding funnel and they don't end up at the last step here, which is the purchase step, um, 
then I send them a bunch of notifications and emails at different times. And that gets them to come back and actually finish the transaction. And you can see here, I'm pushing over 29% 20, conversion rates using Braze uh, to get people to come back. So um, this is where I thrive. I was actually you know, the head of mobile engineering, growth engineer at PrizePix. Um, and I, I offer growth, growth consulting to some companies. And uh, one of my clients just absolutely is crushing it. Um, but in order to work with me here, you got to have um, you know, hundreds or thousands of daily active users for this type of strategy to work. Um, but I'm making this video for you as indie builders and solopreneurs who are out there. You don't have to use Braze. There's actually other tools like OneSignal. Um, and OneSignal is a fantastic push notification provider. You can hook this up to Flutterflow. Um, and it's a lot cheaper. I think it's like less than $100 a month. Um, and this is like their funnel. But like if you go into their pricing here, um, you can actually sign up for their free tier and start hooking up your push notifications pretty simply. Um, and you can create like journeys and workflows and, and do A-B testing on notifications. Um, I highly recommend that if you have an app live, you should use OneSignal. It's just like Braze, but a lot more like solopreneur and beginner friendly. By the way, if you made it to the end of this video, I have some exciting news to share with you. We are launching a growth accelerator at Ambitious Labs. After running Dreams into Apps, the leading app idea accelerator, we are now tackling that next major problem, which is post-launch. How do you take your idea from a launched app with maybe your first dozen or hundred users and grow it into a successful company, whether that's $1,000 MRR or $10,000 MRR, or just having an app with many, many users that's driving value. We are now working on our growth accelerator in uh, the end of 2024 going into 2025. Um, and that will be the next major product that we uh, work on at Ambitious Labs. So for a limited time now, you can use the link in the description to join the pre-order, which will essentially give you private early access to the growth accelerator calls with me. I'll coach you on growth engineering. I'll coach you on go-to-market strategies. Um, we'll be making course content around various topics like short form content, how to go viral, how to find creators to promote your app, how to do B2B deals, influencers, um, push notifications, re-engagement marketing, email marketing, landing page, like you name it, everything that you need to promote and grow your startup, that's all gonna be in the Growth Accelerator. So for a limited time, uh, you can join the um, early access now below. This is probably gonna be the best deal that you ever get uh, for the Growth Accelerator um, because it is going to be an expensive uh, accelerator program uh, once it formally launches. So um, details in the description. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to um, let me know in the comments. I hope you learned something new. Talk to you later.